Welcome to the research junction. Today, the 22nd of September, I come with another daily research tip that is intended to enhance your research professional development. This builds on what was shared yesterday about uh, the process of commercialization of research services. This builds on because it focuses on costing research services. The process of costing research services follows a number of considerations. Costs usually are categorized in three. The first category of the cost is the category of the professional fee. So the professional fee is determined by number one, your worth. You should be able to define or determine how much you are worth. That will help you then to transfer how much you are worth into the cost per time. This could be a cost per hour or a cost per day. Commonly, the costing per day is what is used in many of the costing processes. So you will be able to charge how much you are worth per day. And then also you can be able to cost per delivery or per deliverable. Also, this can be able to help you cost, especially when you are not sure about how much time you are going to commit to complete a particular task. But then these components focus on the professional fee. There are some research services which basically only focus on doing work service without necessarily having to go anywhere where outside from where you are. So in case you find that it requires movements or going somewhere where you may not actually be located, then you can be able to have what we call reimbursables. Reimbursables are costs which are incurred in the research service provision, such as, for example, fuel, transport. There could be costs associated with the participants who are conducting a maybe focus group. So these are considered under reimbursables. And then the last part is the, the administrative overheads, where, for example, you can capture internet, water, electricity. And usually this is not more than 10% of the budget. And also, usually, we consider this professional fee not to be more than 30% of the budget. Then usually these reimbursables approximately 60%. So this is basic guidance on how you be able to cost your research consultancy services. Again, to remind you, there is a book, Commercialization of Research Services and Products that they have written and they have given details on how you can actually do the costing of research. Look out for that book and you'll be able to get into the details of how you can be able to do this. This has been our daily research tip. Thank you for watching.